Hey, Donna here at the Everything Saxophone Podcast, and we're at the Key Leaves booth with the Key Leaves Everything Saxophone Podcast NAM Hang 2019. And I have none other than Jeff Koshua with me today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad to have you. So, um, is this your is this your uh, first day here at NAM? First day, yes. Not my first time, but first day. It's always it takes it's an adjustment period. You have to kind of like psych yourself up before entering the complex because it's <laughs> you're outside. Here we go. And it's just sonic cacophony is the wrong word. Is that a nice word? <laughs> sonic energy. Yes, lots of sonic energy. Yeah. I would say. And you were fighting your way through the guitar section just to get here. <laughs> That's awesome. So, what are your plans for here at NAM? Are you performing in any of the booths? I, uh, well, actually, I put a booth to try out things that interest me, like different saxophones and whatnot. I always like that. That's fun. Uh, but tonight I'm playing the Jody Jazz Jam session, a showcase thing. Uh, we, that's when we met. Yeah, and I'm going to be doing that too with you. Oh, good. So, I'll see you there. Cool. And that'll be at what, 7 o'clock tonight? Yes. Okay, at the Hilton. Awesome, great, terrific. So, what are you looking forward to here at not at NAM besides performing tonight? I'll tell you what, it's, it's very easy to get overwhelmed here because there's so many toys and you get distracted. And people want you to get distracted. Like, hey, come over here and try this. So I do. <laughs> I just walk around with my credit card. What do you got? Good, I feel better now. Thank but, you. Yeah, but actually, this year I was more academic about it. And I, uh, for instance, here's an example. Is Avid here? Sibelius, do you know if they're here? Oh, sure. I hope they are. They probably are, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I've been compiling a list of questions, specific questions. Good. Like I've got 20 questions. How do you do this? And what happens if you do this? And etc. So I can t- talk to someone who knows directly. That's smart. And you know what? I was going to ask you about, you know, someone watching this, listening to this, and they get a chance to go to NAM in the future. Any advice that you have? And you're kind of starting to give it. Yeah, I think so. I, you know, it's, it's so overwhelming here. You've got to stay focused. And they have a good app on your phone. You can actually pick out your favorites, route, route out the way you're going to move across the, you know. Or do what I do in the shopping center, grocery store, just go up and down each aisle. <laughs> Getting what you need. That's true. And then, then, and then you get a chance to sample everything. Exactly. Um, well, you remember last year, I think they, they, just, they changed up the... Uh, they changed up the order a little bit here, and there's some more people here than there were last year, I think. It seems like it, it's, it's very full here. Yeah, yeah and some different people too as well. Um, yeah. Different folks that I haven't seen before, like Retro Revival, and uh, I was just actually trying out some mouthpieces, uh, SYOS, that Shape Your Own Sound. They're like a couple of booths down. Okay, I'll check that out. And AM mouthpieces, Arnold and Montgomery, so they're down there too. See, it's, nice. it's a lot of candy in the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's well put, a lot of candy in the store, for sure. So, uh, what I wanted to ask you was, what what's upcoming for you, you know, in the immediate future? Well, um, I just finished playing Jazz Alley with my group, Coastal Access, and we recorded it live. So, I'm going to go over the tracks and kind of uh, see what see what we have, you know, um, see if we got an out there. But it's okay if we don't, because I don't. I just don't. I mean, I don't mind recording several performances in different clubs, not just one club. So, I'm going to keep the camera and the, ca- the video, not the cameras, the video equipment rolling as for as many live gigs as possible this year. That would be, yeah, that would be a great compilation album of a bunch of places. I think so. It's I, I would love to go to Blues Alley. I heard it's a really great place. I, well, I'm talking about Jazz Alley, but Blues, Alley, Blues right. Alley's great too. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, so you mentioned that you had like the live compilation album. Is there anything else that's coming up as well? We're going to start working on the fourth Sax Pack studio album. Oh, cool. We're just starting to get the two together. But actually, the last time we recorded, we actually recorded two albums. And the one, we released one of them. And the other one we're going to kind of work with and retool and rearrange. And oh. we've got, we got half the material already done. So, yeah. Awesome, cool. Yeah. All right, now I have another question. Um, we, we talked a little bit about the overwhelm at NAMM. All right, so let's say one of your students is able to come to NAM and they want to try out horns. Do you have any advice for them, like, you know, what to look for, what to play, that kind of stuff? You know what's interesting? I, what I find for myself personally, I find a player that I can trust, like yourself. Somebody who plays saxophone that, whose ears I trust. Like I just ran into, for instance, Tom Hollitzer, the uh, tennis sax player for Tower of Power. I trust his sound, and he knows my sound, and I, I'm playing right at him. I'm saying, okay, here's A, what do you think? I use the device that I'm looking at, you know, the Reed Geek uh, playing bottom. Put it on, he goes, definitely, keep it on. So, it helps, sometimes it helps to have another player on your same instrument with a critical ear, objectively listening to you. It's very helpful. Now, you had just mentioned, too, um, you know, that you were playing, like, for example, an A. Are you, 
are you the type of, I don't want to say it that way, but there's people that come here and it's like, it's like saxophone gymnastics. Oh yeah. You know, they're playing every lick under the sun. Any recommendations for what people should be doing when they're working with Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I get that. I do the same thing time to time. You're trying, what they're doing, you know, I guess is feeling how the thing flows, the action of the horn, you know. But that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. How do you get around that? Like, is it comfortable? But don't forget to just play tone because ultimately tone is more important than anything else. Yeah. And it's hard to hear tone in here, but find a quiet wall and play against it. That's why it's good to have that person who's listening with his ears right in front of your bell saying, no, that one's brighter, that one's darker, whatever. It's helping you. you know? that's, that's great advice. And, and you know, what's interesting, they, I've noticed uh, they have a whisper booth uh, on one of the corners over here, which is great. I, I remember oh. when I was trying out one of the Ishimori horns, which they're fabulous horns. Yeah. Um, I, you know, they, they, t they recommended I go into the whisper booth and play in there yeah. and test it out. Um, you won't have that other person to listen to you, but have you ever tried something like a whisper booth to try out stuff? No, I, I want to go try to find that. That sounds great. I'm, I'll, I'll direct you it's to a that. thing here. Yeah. yeah, but I think that that's such a great advice to have, you know, uh, someone that you trust. Now, let's say you're alone, then then what do you do? That, that makes it a little tricky. Yeah, a lot of it. Uh, the reality of it, a lot of times when you're on stage, you can't hear yourself too well anyway. That's you know, true. You know, you know, like if you're with the funk band or rock band, a lot of it's by feel. How does the horn, like literally, how does the horn make you feel when you play? Do you feel like you're holding this cool piece of metal that's just rattling away? Or do you feel like it's becoming part of your body? It's like a very, uh, you know, sensual kind of experience, tactile experience the saxophone. It can be. And uh, hopefully, you know, the thing you're playing, like for instance, I won't mention the maker, but their altos were really quite nice. Like a really enjoyed feeling it vibrate in my hands. And they played it too. I tried their tenors, completely different experience. Didn't dig it, didn't dig it at all. But the altos, yes. So. Now, this is interesting. You had mentioned that, um, you know, here, it is hard to hear yourself. I mean, we're at a small booth. Um, I just remember just trying out a couple of mouthpieces, and, and I couldn't hear myself with certain mouthpieces, but other ones I could. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's the dynamic of the room, very large ceilings, a lot of padding, a lot of carpeting, and all that kind of thing. But when you're on a stage, all right, and yeah, you, you can't hear yourself, what are, what are some other tips you can give people? Because the tendency is to overblow. Yeah, it sure is. It's difficult. Uh, you just have to have a, <laughs> hope you have a good relationship with your monitor, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. But if you don't, if you don't and you're not speaking to each other, then you're in trouble. Uh, basically, you know, saxophone 101, all the sensations of diaphragm support and the way it should feel in your mouth, it's almost like flying a little bit blind sometimes. You can't really hear yourself, but you can feel yourself. And you should know what it feels like to play in tune. And I guess go off of what you're hearing in your head as opposed to what's coming out of the it's, bell. Yeah, that's a very good question. It's very difficult. That's the uh, challenge. That's a challenge, absolutely. Well, listen, Jeff, I wanted to thank you for your time so much. I know it's Pleasure. crazy running around here yeah. and you've got to try out some more of the toys here. <laughs> but I'm going to look forward to jamming with you tonight. All right, we'll that's see you awesome. there. Thanks so much, Jeff. Right, bye.